Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to troubleshoot if your Bluetooth device is not connecting properly to your Windows 10 device. So we're going to go through a few different scenarios on how to hopefully resolve this problem fairly quickly. So we're going to actually start by heading over to the start menu and you want to left click on it. And then you want to type in services. The best match that comes up should say services right above desktop app. So I'm going to left click on that. Just give it a second here and we'll take a moment to load up. So I'm going to expand this view a little bit so you guys have a better view of what we're doing. So there should be something that says Bluetooth support service right here. You want to right click on it and then left click on properties. Underneath startup type you want to set it to automatic. So left click on this box right here. Set it to automatic and then if service status is stopped click on the start button right here. and then click on apply and OK to save our change and then you can close out of the services window I'd recommend trying to connect your Bluetooth device now if you're still experiencing problems what I'd recommend doing is heading over to the start menu again left click on it and then type in troubleshooting and there should be something that says troubleshooting right above control panel you want to left click on this so now in the file explorer window that appears with troubleshooting you want to left click on where it says view all on the left side underneath control panel home so left click on view all and then you want to left click on where it says hardware and devices on the left side underneath name so it should be like looks like the third one down here at the time of this recording so I'm going to open that up Minimize out of the other window. It's going to say troubleshooting and help prevent computer problems. Hardware and devices find and fix problems with devices and hardware. We're going to slide next here to proceed with this scan. Should take a moment, so just be patient.
Okay, so it does detect something here. It says Windows not currently set to check for the most up-to-date drivers. So we're going to enable this. If you get anything else, I'd recommend you follow along with Windows suggestions here. And it shouldn't take much longer from here. Okay, so it says troubleshooting has completed. Troubleshooter made some changes to your system. Try attempting the task you were trying to do before. So again, I recommend restarting your computer and see if your Bluetooth device has been reconnected or is working again. If you're still experiencing problems, there's one further step we can try, and that would be to head back to the Start menu, left-click on it, and then type in Device Manager. Should be listed right above Control Panel, so you want to left-click on that. Okay, so for most of you guys, there should be something in the device manager that says Bluetooth on the left side here. You would just expand the view. Please keep in mind, I'm just doing it for batteries, but it should say Bluetooth. You would right click on whatever came up underneath, and then you proceed to left click on update driver software. Again, it should say Bluetooth. You should search automatically for updated driver software. This will begin scanning online for it. And then you can also, on the same screen, um, when we're done doing this, I'm going to show you guys how to find out what driver version you're running. So if you have to manually go online and download additional software, or if you wanted to see what version you're running compared to what the latest version is to know if you actually are up to date or not. I've noticed that the built-in Windows Device Manager is okay, but doesn't always detect the most up-to-date software, so it can be faulty at times. So it should most likely say the best driver for your device is already installed. If it doesn't, you can right click on it again, left click on properties, and then in this new little context menu that appears, if you go underneath details or the, I should say the driver tab, it will tell you what driver version you're running here. This is very important if you have to go online and manually download the driver. And all you have to do is if you manually downloaded it, would be if we were going to go back in to right click on it, update driver software, and then you would just left click on browse my computer for driver software. This is how you would manually download that driver software if you had to recover it from online. But pretty straightforward, hopefully one of the three methods should work for you and you shouldn't have to come to that. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.